तो सबसे पहले हम प्ले स्टोर पर जाते हैं तो आप निकशाला ऐप को प्ले स्टोर से डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं ये ऐप आपको दो चीज़ों में मदद करेगा पहला तो है यूनिवर्सिटी शॉर्टलिस्ट करने में दूसरा उस पर्टिकुलर यूनिवर्सिटी पे जिस भी आपने सिलेक्ट किया है उस पर कैसे एप्लीकेशन होता है लिंक मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन दे दूंगा आप प्लीज डाउनलोड कर लीजिएगा तो इंटरफेस ऐसा कुछ दिखता है और गैसो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो इफ यू वॉन्ट बुक एन अपॉइंटमेंट विद मी डायरेक्टली एंड टॉक अबाउट योर कोर्स और एडमिशन प्रोसेस और वीजा प्रोसेस और डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एनी थिंग फर्स्ट लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इज द लिंक विच यू कैन यूज टू बुक द अपॉइंटमेंट एंड आई विल शो अप डायरेक्टली So we are going to straight go to the university now or uh, are we going to go through the city I center I would say that because uh, university is uh, 1.5 kilometers away from here and the harbor and city is all this area okay so it would be better and for you it's easy to come yeah, back yeah yeah so this is what the main exit oh yeah, this is the main entrance station. and exit it's the only one <laughs> the yeah. only one yeah. okay and uh, there's a taxi stand right outside yeah. here So uh, we just came out. A quick question for you: mm -hmm. If somebody is flying here for the first time, yeah. what flight route would you suggest them if they've got admission in this now and they're coming for the first time? Mine was from. I'm from Kerala, uh, so I came by uh, Cochin Airport. So Cochin to Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi to Hamburg, and from Hamburg to by train to Wisma. Okay. Yeah. So um, to Wisma from Hamburg, you will uh, get. train like uh, it's very easy to get is that the route would you suggest everyone else also um yeah There's so no from here. from hamburg it very it will be very easy why is it completely dead here <laughs> um i Or, this wismar is always like that okay. it's, uh, it's a town, very yeah. uh, pretty small town and you can see weekends uh, people during the weekends near the harbor area and that's it yeah so okay. before we go ahead i have a friend who is joining he's studying here and uh, how about we quickly start with the intro hi guys uh, i'm doing my masters uh, in machine bow process and environmental engineering here in wisma university i've completed my uh, two uh, two semesters i've been in germany since um, 2019 january and what bachelor's you did in india Uh, I did mechanical engineering. And how much did you score there? Uh, I scored 7.1. 7.1. Yeah. And are you studying in German taught program or English? I'm I'm studying in German taught program. So I okay. had to take C1. Oh, so you computer language yeah. before joining the school. Yeah, exactly. And did you learn the language here or already in India? Um, I completed till A2 in India, but the course here in Germany was the I had to start from A1 again. So oh. I had basics, so it was a good open, uh, advantage for me. Okay. So I completed C1, I did my exams, and I got admission. Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's head to the campus now. Are there some English taught programs here on the campus for the? Yeah, course? yeah, there there is actually basically three English taught programs: uh, international management, architecture, and uh, uh, one engineering course, which is electrical and information technology. So I was reading a bit about the city. It's, it, it was talking about it's a quite medieval city. Yeah, exactly. They've yeah. Restored everything. Exactly. From the ancient yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. Wow. you get to see all of that so uh, basically after second world war almost uh, all of these city and all these buildings were almost completely devastated and uh, after right after the german unification 20 years ago the city was completely restored to its original this thing each and every building was reconstructed and modified exactly the way uh, they were so we are walking uh, to the university it's just like 1.5 kilometers not that much and on the way i also get to see the city if somebody has to go by bus though yeah uh, what bus number can they take uh, they can actually take bus number 1 um the that's is a dobi that uh, the wisma is a dobi is right there just 500 meters from the railway station yeah so they can actually take bus number 1 or 4 that's where the central bus station okay. is and we are walking there you were saying there is no trams no trains here no, within the city because because the small town it doesn't a require town, exactly yeah bus is the convenient way yeah i would say bicycle is the most convenient way oh you have one yeah i have okay. one yeah pretty much everybody has everybody them. has it even most of the students who studies in wisma doesn't uh, take bus so or most of most of them has a bicycle when you came here for the first time yeah. what was your impression about the city i was in actually not in wisma for the first time i was uh, doing my language course in 
Schwerin, which is the capital city of the state. Right after getting admission in Wisma University, I came to Wisma. So uh, Wisma was pretty like uh, same as Schwerin. It's calm and quiet. But this is a central bus stop yeah. uh, where you could take bus and go to the university also, right? Okay. So from that bus stop, the central bus stop, we kept walking for like literally five minutes, three minutes. And this is the harbor he was talking about. Look at this. Oh my God. Wow. This is Baltic Sea. Um, oh, yeah. This is just a small part of the harbor. The main bar uh, harbor is on the other side. I That's see. very huge. Okay, must yeah. be. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, people have private boats here parked. You can actually hire boats for 10 euros uh -huh. for two hours, I, th I think. Private ones, yeah? A private one. Can we do that in Berlin too? Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 What's the cost of living here as a student? I stay in student work, cost me 260 euros per month. Food cost me around 120, 140 I can manage. And then insurance thing cost me well, around 450 to 500 euros I can manage in a month. Right. Bazaar. Bazaar. <laughs> <laughs> what is this doing here? This uh, this was actually this everything happens inside this. Uh -huh. This at uh, town hall, uh, the Wisma town hall here. But due to Corona, it's closed, so they are doing it outside. I see. Full on Saturday market, man. Yeah. <laughs> These are the only kind of places I've seen bargaining in Germany. <laughs> actually, oh yes, you can bargain here. Yeah, yeah. Actually, actually I've done once <laughs> for a wallet. Okay. But it was 20 euros and I got it for 8. <laughs> it cool. was a very good deal. Wow, it's getting more interesting now, huh? Yeah, yeah. Now, this is the main house. You can see from here to the right, you will be quite Whoa. amazed. Oh my god. Yeah, so all the people are here. Oh my god, okay. This is where everybody is actually. Okay. Oh god. This is where you stay. <laughs> Wow. Which way is the university? That way. Okay, this way. Yes, and hi. So good. What What is the situation with uh, part-time jobs here? Yeah? Since it's a very small city, it's not very easy to find a part-time job, but jobs are available. So you um, mostly students find the part-time job in sites called Indeed and other there are a few agencies here like uh, Stegman and other agencies. Wismar is a pretty small town. When it comes to language requirement it's very high I'm pretty sure of you right? Yeah. I mean in your case look you, stu you studied in German here, German mm -hmm. taught program so maybe the struggle may not be that much yeah there must be of course uh, while studying the language it was <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in the right beginning now, this yeah, you yeah. you had to go through a tough time but now you you were very comfortable right yeah very few people here talks in english so it would be very difficult if you are not uh, like um if you can't manage yourself in german language mm. so where are we right now this is actually the copy shop and all the accessory shop of the university so for Printouts, I, Print would, outs, I yeah. should come here, yeah? I, On the campus. There's actually another copy shop and stationery shop inside. Okay. This is actually students usually come, uh, the architectural and design students come here usually to take a floor plan which is quite large so that can be printed out uh, here. So the main entrance is further there, right? Let's go from there. This is one entrance okay. which I mentioned. So there's a, actually another entrance on the other side. Okay. Yeah. Further, really far, I'm seeing there's a bus stop there. That's that's a one. That's a bus stop that's to that's get one bus stop. to this yeah. entrance. Exactly. I see. And right. on the other far end, yeah. there's another bus stop. So, one uh, bus number one goes through this way, and okay. bus number four goes through that way. What is this? Something. Uh, this is called as a Schweden coffer, or in English, uh, Swedish head. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is not a symbol of the university, but of the uh, city of Hansa State of Hansa City of Wismar. I see. Yeah. Okay. So university uh, put this here, but this symbol is uh, uh, can be seen all throughout the city. cities. Yeah. I Even see. in harbor, you can see in everywhere. This. Got it. Yeah. All right. So this is where we are at uh, Hochschule Wismar, and uh, we're going to enter the campus from here. This is uh, uh, building number 21, and this is the international office. 
the first thing you have to do once you come to the university is get registered here get enrolled oh, here oh enrollment happens here yeah, exactly. oh, very yeah. important building then yeah. okay yeah you will get your student card you will get your uh, semester ablauf plan the st- uh, timetable everything from here and get registered from here first you know you can see this it's like right next to that um uh, let's go inside from here building number 20 is right here this is a uh, uh, office for the asta and stupa which is uh, which are both asta and stupa are both uh, student organizations of our university asta basically deals with the cultural and academic things and uh, stupa handles uh, those right right so they are quite uh, helpful uh, student organization uh just in case if you fall in any legal trouble also they actually help okay this was the, this is a coffee shop i mentioned earlier uh, this is the yeah, shop the entrance okay. is on the other side i see okay so one second so there are a lot of directions here so 21 which we already showed you this is the one what's 23 building number 4 uh, are this kind of an office uh, not related to the academics but administrative um, office administrative office i see so yeah. this is what this is our library but it's a very beautiful view from the other side i see yeah this building house number 20 uh-huh. is the uh, faculty for business and management studies so yeah this is what building number 20 is we just came in from there yeah Can you name some student dormitories where students are staying around? We have uh, stu- uh, student and work in uh, three different locations. One is in Bürgermeister Hauptstraße. Uh, the main uh, buildings are in uh, Friedrich Wulfstraße and there is also one in Wasserstraße. Uh that is uh for engineering research hub. That's for engineering department. Um uh, that is actually my department. Oh this is where yeah, you uh, study okay. Actually this is not the only department for me. Uh we have classes here. So few of my professors sits here and few are in house number 12. I see. Okay. On the left hand side the library uh will show you the front face of it. Uh, this is actually a cafe. So we have a canteen on the other side but this is a small cafe. but the there's an uh, important uh, building here in wisma because this actually uh, a means of uh, language studying because uh, cultural exchange when there was corona uh, b- before all this uh, students used to come here and german students who wanted to study j- english and uh, in here uh, like uh, other students international students uh, also comes here to learn german so right. they talk have a coffee right right it's good to find a tandem partner yeah. and exchange the language right mm-hmm. is this like the main square of the university exactly. that's the main building house number 1 oh that's house number 1 yeah. okay we're going to go there so this is 19 we showed you 21 there 20 and then 19 here what is 19 for this is for business yeah, yeah? 19 okay uh this is block 17 so this is all uh, this is where all the magic happens Okay. So this is uh, actually block 17 is a party club uh for the Hochschule students. So it's free for the Hochschule students when you show the ID card. So uh usually um party happens every Friday evening, Saturday evening. So with music DJs and all. That. This is the electronic and the information department. So uh the English course, uh, the old English course uh related to engineering that happens here. How fun is this like the clubs the soon club is yeah. in the engineering building right yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun remember building number 17 for party <laughs> so we are right now in front of house number 16 uh, we showed you 17 house number 16 is it's also a, a, a department of electronics and information technology yeah these uh, house number 16 and house number 17 are both information and electronics And now we are slowly heading towards building number one, very important building, yeah. Yeah. This is where the rector of the university sits, and all the other legal uh, lawyers uh, sits, and all the important people sits. Uh, this is house number one. Uh, this is where the rector of the university sits, and all the official uh, officials sit. Uh, we have also classes sometimes here, so yeah. 
You have classes also here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because uh, it's pretty big, huh? It it's starts from big, here, yeah. like in a good... So, uh, this entire row is one class. Oh. This is one... All classroom? Big, uh, this is one class. One class? Yeah, it's one okay. class. It's like uh, going up uh, that kind of class. Okay. Uh, building continues there and then on the other side also there. Library from the other side and this is where the entrance is. So, house number one, this area, the main square which we showed you and the library here you come on the other side and this is where the entrance is and there are some more buildings here yeah now we are going to the architecture and design and civil departments this so way this, um, these three buildings are for the architecture design and uh, maritime engineering so we have uh, three courses in three different buildings one two and then the third and one and the back there. one yeah okay quite modern building Good. Uh, this is one of the oldest buildings this one, okay. yeah and uh, this is uh, the labor uh, laboratory for uh, engineering so okay. yeah, the production uh, department is here so okay. where are we right now uh, this is the department uh, laboratory for the civil engineering so this is actually a laboratory and a research facility also <laughs> This is house number 22. This is the department for civil engineering. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah, this is the international office where we started from. We came in from here and then we went inside right here. And then we are just coming out this way. We are towards the end of the video. What's your last thought for all those future students? And we're going to end the video. In from my side, I would say Visma is a very beautiful town, uh, city to study. There's a very good uh, opportunity because the only for, for the last two semesters, uh, people, uh, students have, international students have started to come here. And uh, one, a few things from my side, which I uh, didn't do, have an open mind to all different people, different situations, because uh, you go, you are going to meet uh, very different people from different cultures, uh, countries, and and. Never forget and don't forget before coming here to have at least an A2 level certificate in Germany. Alright, so that's all what we have from Wismar. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time in a different city. Bye-bye.